Hey YouTube, how's it going? Just wanted to do a quick video on the charge controller and the two batteries. Uh, I've sort of been uh, communicating back and forth with somebody on YouTube. Uh, they were sort of interested in my uh, charge controller output power on how I was able to get 30 amps out of it. And when we're really close to about the same wattage, but it kind of varies. Um, right now, say I'm only getting 14, but I believe it uh, requires demand. Um, let's say I take this heat lamp here and I plug in this heat lamp, those amps are gonna go up because I'm gonna be in need of power. So let me get it plugged in. And now I've plugged it in. Um, these amps should start going up on the battery uh, to charge it. They'll start to climb slightly. As I'm drawing right now, see I'm only drawing 23 amps on the power inverter. So this will probably just peak out at 23 amps uh, if it needs it. See it's starting to go up just a little bit. And it's probably gonna end up matching what this is. So what I'll do is let's plug in something else to it. Let's draw some more power. Let's, uh, you have to excuse my mess. I'm gonna plug in this big old fan here. It's really noisy, so I probably won't talk a whole lot while it's running. It's got a bearing going out in it. But I'm going to plug in some more here. Let's put a good load on this thing. All right, so I've got it plugged in. Now we're drawing about 65, 68 amps off my battery bank with this power inverter. So now the amps are going to start going up. Now we're at 23. We'll give that a minute to start tracking. Remember, these things take a few uh, seconds to decide how much power that it needs to send. See, it's going up to 24. And I'll show you where the sun is today. It's about two o'clock here in South Texas. Uh, I don't wanna burn my lens up here, so it's right up there. It's right there. Just above the garage, almost perfect conditions. And here we are going up to about 24 amps. There's something I noticed that I did different. When I did the video on this and I was pulling 30 amps with it, I did not have this meter. It has this shunt where the power comes out, goes through the shunt and back out to the battery. Well, what I've noticed is the shunt right here, see, that is super hot. I can't even leave my fingers on it. If it's getting that hot, I'm losing power. I'm choking my uh, output down. So that might be all I can get because this thing gets super, super hot. See, I'm touching it and it's burning me. So I think I'm gonna take this off. And when I take this thing off, I bet you I'm gonna be able to get back up a little bit higher, like around the 20 amp, uh, 28 amp range. So I'm going to take that off and see what happens. We're pulling around 50, give or take. Now it's up to around 25. voltage is holding pretty steady 13 volts uh, solar output I'm getting about 20 amps off my panels see at 16 volts so anyway oh, okay now it's gonna do a tracking thing see how it went down to 6 amps it quit charging and it'll do that it's now it's gonna calculate everything and it should boost right back up and let's see what happens. What's crazy is right now I'm drawing all this power and I'm not getting any charge on it when it does this. So let's see what happens. See how my battery voltage is going down? It went down quite a bit. I am drawing a lot off of it. 27, yeah, it went up quite a bit. And I believe it's just upon demand. There's 28. And that might be it. So today I'm getting 28 amps to my battery bank, which isn't bad at all. So 
I do have another panel. I just uh, received it last week. I haven't had time to put it up. I'm going to do a video on it because it's a different panel than what I usually use. And we're going to see how it works out. But anyway, I just wanted to show that uh, to you. If I turn my power inverter off and kill everything, uh, the amps will start going back down as the battery starts charging, obviously. Because now I'm not drawing anything at all. So it's going to want to start uh, just sort of tapering off a little bit. Uh, starting to drop. So it's all on demand, you know. You hook up your, your panels to your batteries and you're saying you're not getting the power that you were hoping. Well, sometimes maybe your charge controller doesn't really need to do it. It's not until it really needs to put out that power that it's going to do it. So don't give up. Alright guys, thanks for watching.